Hola niños, ¿cómo están? Today we have a difficult letter of the alphabet. Today's letra is the letra R. R. It's kind of hard for English speaking people to pronounce this letter because we're used to saying R and making a sound at the back of our throat. But in Spanish, this letter is pronounced using the tip of your tongue at the front of your mouth. So it sounds almost like the letter D. R. R. Let's look at some words that begin with the letter R. First, we have a present. In Spanish, we call a present a regalo. Regalo. Next, we have a mouse or a rat. In Spanish, he's called a raton. Raton. Next is the word clock. You might remember this one when we talked about classroom things. A clock is called a reloj. Reloj. And last, we have a queen. A queen is called a reina. Reina. Let's look at some people that have the letra R in their names. The first person is Antonio Ramiro Romo. Antonio Ramiro Romo. So this person has a very Spanish sounding name, but they don't usually go by their full name like that. This person goes by a nickname of the name Antonio. He calls himself Tony. So Tony Romo is a football player. He's the quarterback for the Dallas Cowboys. It's kind of unusual to have a Hispanic football player. Football just isn't a sport that Spanish-speaking people usually like to play. But Tony Romo is one of the best football players in the whole country. His parents are from Mexico, so Tony Romo speaks both Spanish and English. Next we have a person with a name that doesn't sound like it's very Spanish. His name is Bill Richardson. That doesn't sound Hispanic at all. But Bill Richardson is also from Mexico. He was the governor of New Mexico, and he tried to run for president. Unfortunately, he didn't win. But if he did, he would have been our first Spanish-speaking president, Bill Richardson. And this place, Quintana Roo, is a state in Mexico. Remember that Mexico has states just like the United States does. And Quintana Roo is way at the very end. Mexico kind of looks like a fish hook, and Quintana Roo is the very end of the hook. Quintana Roo is very beautiful because it sticks out into the Gulf of Mexico, so it's surrounded by beautiful blue water and really beautiful white sandy beaches. Quintana Roo, though, also has some ancient things in it. Ancient ruins in the city of Cancun and a place called Chichen Itza, which is a big pyramid built hundreds of years ago that's still standing today. It's pretty neat to see really old things as well as the modern fancy hotels that you could find in Cancun in Quintana Roo. It's a good place to go on vacation if you ever get the chance. Today, we're going to be talking about el restaurante. I bet you can guess what that word means. We're going to be learning all kinds of food words today. I hope you brought your appetite. See you next time. Adios, amigos.